It's been exactly two weeks since we first introduced you to Sophia Burke from her hospital bed at Hackensack University Medical Center. COVID-19 snuck its way into her family circle, infecting eight people in all, ultimately claiming the life of her beloved father, all from a seemingly harmless car ride home with an unknowingly infected family friend. My breathing is still in the same. If not, I'm on a high flow. Um, so I have two oxygens. So I'm actually a little worse than the last time we spoke. On this Thursday night, the virus is still wreaking havoc on Sophia's lungs as she fights to recover and get back home to her mother, brother. Hey, Elena. Hi. Hey, Elena. Hey. Thank you, Elena. Along with her husband, Brian, and their three children. They helped me immensely. Thank God. Because if I had to do this by myself with three kids, I would just, I, I'd have a heart attack. Our ongoing check-ins with Sophia, serving a dual purpose, to follow her journey back to her family, while hopefully providing some insight for you at home on the physical and emotional toll COVID-19 takes on both patient and family. They're always saying how much they miss their mom, and uh, I miss them so much. It is not easy for them. It's been very hard. And, um, you know, my family's doing the best they can. The Burks are not alone, joining tens of thousands of New Jersey families, pushing toward the same goal, recovery and infection prevention. Before anyone asks, I, I think there, this storm did disrupt some uh, amount of, uh, of the delivery of the vaccine. During Thursday's post-winter storm news conference, okay. Governor Phil Murphy described what he called a minor vaccine distribution setback. I hope everyone goes and gets it. I mean, that's it. My, my, my mom is immunocompromised and I haven't seen her in six, six months now because of this. For Brian Burke, the sooner the better. This has been probably the toughest time we've ever had as a family. And we've been through a lot and this is just tops it all. I think the goal is to try to get me home by the new year, you know, like the first week of January, but there's no set goal. So it's been almost a month in the hospital. Sophia still does not have a confirmed discharge date. She's hoping the doctors will release her in the first week of January. We're hoping that we're going to be there the day that she walks out of the hospital and is finally reunited with her family. We're live in Hackensack tonight. Jay Dow, Pix 11 News.